Well, according to the state, only one in six American high schoolers say they're interested in entering STEM fields. Ah, but here in Massachusetts, students are being recognized for inventions they've made to address real world issues. Jordan has more. This year, I did a lot more research, I did a lot more data and a lot more testing, so I was really confident. And when I finally got called on the stage, it was just like a wish come true. Srivabu Paretla is starting high school in Sharon this fall. He is one of three award winners from the state honored for their creations at the RTX Invention Convention by Henry Ford. I did this for two years. First year, I didn't get the awards or anything. Less than 80 K-12 students were recognized in the national competition where students develop solutions to problems society faces in safety, climate change, and health. Puretla won third place in his category for his invention ROS, which stands for rain or shine. You can just cut it right into the casing, just like that. And on the back, you have your these electric transducers. He invented an extension for a solar panel that can harness energy from precipitation. He tells WBZ he came up with it after his parents had a solar panel consultation on a rainy day. There has to be a way to generate electricity from our house. It has to be uh, efficient. Pretty impressive, and he's not the only student excelling here in Massachusetts. We use a comprehensive predictive model that uses three biomarkers, uh, sodium, potassium, and phosphate. Anushka Nair and Dylan Streak are both rising seniors at Hopkinton High School. This summer, they won the patent application award for their creation, the Glycocharge. So we actually polled individuals at our local senior center, and they said that pricking their finger can often deter them from wanting to measure their glucose levels. The non-invasive electrolyte enhanced glucometer is a small wearable device that records concentrations of electrolytes in the blood. Those help estimate blood glucose concentration. They don't have to prick their finger, and that essentially allows them to have a more consistent schedule and be more attentive to their health. For the three students, it's not just about applying their education on a national level. It's about making a difference in their communities and helping others, and this is just the start. And Anushka and Dylan will receive a pro bono patent search and application filing for their invention. The three students are also on their own respective robotics teams. The competition guys hopes to inspire students, unlock their potential, and shape a better future. So impressive. Can't wait to see what they go on to do. I mean, only in high school. So they have yeah. long careers ahead of them. Yeah. This is so exciting. I know. <laughs> it makes me feel like the world is in good hands when I see stories like that. Like, right? Yeah. That's a great point, That's Chris. awesome. If yeah. they're leading the way, we're good. Yeah, yeah. they're good. And great hopefully stuff. this will inspire more students to get into those STEM careers, too. Yeah. Exactly.